Hi, Gemini. This is Genevieve with Belladonna Moon Memes. How are y'all doing? I'm doing really well. And this is the winter solstice, December 21st. And in fact, this reading is for December 21st through 27th, 2020 for Geminis. And so let me tell you about this week a little bit. But right now we're doing the weekly reading. Tonight, I'm going to be having a Yule party at my house, Yule slash Winter Solstice. Yule will last for 10 days. And I'm going to make several videos and put them together. Um, I'm going to show you my Yule food, my Yule decorations, and I'm going to talk to you about what Yule means. And we're going to have a little mini Yule ceremony. And then tomorrow, on when I'm going to publish it, put it out on YouTube. So that'd be Tuesday. On Wednesday, I'm going to talk to you all about cinnamon because what is more yule or solstice -y or Christmassy than cinnamon? Thursday, I'm going to open a new deck I got. It's a tarot deck. It's a Christmas tarot deck, and we're going to look at it together. And then on Friday, which is Christmas, I'm going to be doing a special Christmas reading with that deck. Saturday, of course, we're going back to our weekly reading, week and reading. And then on a week from today, we're going to go back to the weekly reading. I don't know what I'm doing on Sunday yet. So, um, also what I've decided to do is starting in January, since it's a new year, is every first Tuesday, I'm doing my pendulum readings. I really, really, really want you to send me in your pendulum questions. This time... And I'm not going to say every time because I do have a day job. At 9 a.m. Central Standard Time, I will be doing a YouTube Live with it. So you can call in your questions, or you can type them in on YouTube, or you can go ahead and text them to me between now and then at 405-512-9400. If you send them in, or if you call them in, or text them in, or however, you will be entered in a drawing to get a free reading with me. And that's pretty much it. So let's look at our reading. The first card we get is the star. Now the star is reversed, so we're gonna flip it over. This is all about good omens, favorable things. Your, have a, your lucky star is looking down on you. So good luck is coming. I think because it was reversed, it's slowly coming. It's not quite here. It's not quite as full as we'd like to see it. We also get the justice card. In this case, I don't think this is all about contracts, paperwork, and having natural things happen, occurrence. And then finally, we get the ace of wands. It's reversed once again. And this is about a new project, getting something going. And it's going to be a good thing. But there is a new project coming. While I was shuffling these cards, these two cards fell out. So the Empress was first. So this tells me that you've got to tap into that feminine energy. Listen to your intuition. Now the Empress though, is it's a really good sign because she's got everything. She's got the weed, she's got trees, she's got water. She's got everything she needs. She's nurturing you, she's loving you, she's giving to you. But you do need to tap into your feminine energy. We also get the Ten of Pentacles, so let's flip it over. And this card says you're going to get what you need um, in security and financially. So it's going to be a good year for you financially. Um, but I do think some of it's going to take a little time. In fact, you're going to have to jostle or fight for some of that. This is the Seven of Wands. And this man is standing up on the hill and he's having to fight for his position. So to get to there, and this might be why the star was reversed, you're going to have to fight for it. It's not just going to land in your lap. That doesn't mean it's going to be fighting like, but it means that you're going to have to look for it. You're going to have to figure out what that is and where to go with it. And when it presents itself, you have to take it. I don't know how many people I know have told me, including my daddy, that they missed out on big opportunities because they didn't take them. Don't be that person. When your intuition says to jump on it, jump on it, because you're being called to do that. Also, we get the five of wands, and this says that you need to be, this, these people are like at a football game, or they're jostling, but for more for fun. 
So I think that as you've been, this is going to prepare you for that other place. So this might be that you do some practice runs or you sit down and you figure out how everything's going to play out. You don't just jump in. And finally, we get the sun reverse. The sun's like the best card. It says everything's going to wake up, work out. It's all going to be good. And you're going to live happily ever after. Now, I pull, I'm going to pull a card from the Native Oracle deck. You know, we opened this deck the other day. And I've since found out that the woman who made this deck is a Cherokee Indian. And that's why it's a Native Spirit Oracle deck. And this card says to go on a vision quest. That means that you are expected to ask your spirit guides or your archangels or all of the above, your spirit animals, whatever resonates with you for help during this period. That it's not that these things are going to be available to you, but you need to ask them for your help to get through them. Ask them for the help to make the right choices and to know where to go from here. And now I'm going to pull from the Guardian of the Night Oracle deck. And we get the Six of Wands. And see, this, this raccoon, or it's a lemur, is sitting at the top. And he's got all these little lemurs wanting what he's got. And so you've got people around you that are jealous of you. But you've also got people who are on your side. And I think more than anything, you've got people that are on your side. They're going to help you get down. They're going to help you through this period. But more than anything, you need to go on your vision quest and ground, spend time with your spirit guides, maybe meditate on a crystal, whatever it is that resonates with you at this time. So y'all, if you want to do a private reading, send me a text to 405-512-9400. Go ahead and send me your pendulum questions to 405-512-9400. Don't forget we've got a drawing. And finally, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you never miss another vision quest or video again. Bye-bye.